G'day chaps. Here we go again. So I've made some changes to the settings. I've kind of um, dropped the resolution in what I'm trying to stream at and hopefully you're not going to be getting the same buffering issues anymore. Um, yeah, I'm going to play some <laughs> some Winter Butte. Um, now I have I have to make a kind of admission that um, I thought I'd played through all of Winter Butte and I hadn't. And um, I, I put a video up releasing my thoughts on story mode and I hadn't even finished story mode. And you were saying, are you sure you've played episode two? And I was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wrong. I hadn't. So I, um, I finished episode one and they rolled the credits and I thought that was it. It took me back to the menu, I believe. And I thought I, thought I was done. But allow me to uh, swallow my pride and continue. So I just started playing this today. Um, I'm a little bit into it. I doubt there are going to be any spoilers for any of you guys, so I don't think I need to put any kind of warning around that. So let's just carry on. I am back at Mystery Lake. I am. I've just picked up the. I'll show you. I've just picked up the. Where is it? Picked up these medical supplies for the the trapper. Where is it now? Anyway, I have them. Let's see. So, I got the medical supplies. I went back to the dam. This is the first time I've seen the updated mystery lake too, and I think it's fantastic. So, oh hi Jeff, how are you, Jeff King? New to the channel and love the content already. Good stuff, man. Welcome. Very happy to have you joining me. This is the first time I'm ever really going to be able to interact with you guys in in any kind of live situation. So it's very, very cool for me. Um, yeah, if the, if the stream drops out, so be it. Um, so the situation with the internet is that when it works, it's fantastic. Uh, I'm getting at the moment. I just tasted it. I'm getting 8.5 megabytes per second download speed, and about 3.5 megabytes upload, which is, should be easily enough for streaming. But because it's a new connection, and they're just building this this new network in Australia, it's called MBN National Broadband Network. It's just full of all kinds of problems, basically. So it, 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 it's good when it works, but it's kind of unstable. So it drops out pretty much every day, or it has so far. But I mean, we've only had it for a week or so. So give it some time. I've been literally having my internet provider on almost like speed dial. Like every time it drops out, I've been calling them up and I know exactly which buttons to press to get through to the tech support team to get help. So. But yeah, it seems to be getting better. So when I first got the connection, it was 4.5 megabytes a second download speed. Now it's up to 8.5 or even 8.8, .8. um, which apparently is pretty good. It's certainly good enough for me. And yeah, the upload, the upload speed seems to be pretty stable. It seems to kind of hover around 3.5 regardless. But yeah, and I'm using uh, XSplit Broadcaster and I spent about maybe an hour looking at the settings, watching some videos. So I had to reduce the resolution. I had to change the, uh, the, the kind of, the amount it was trying to send up the pipe, basically. So you have to think of your internet like a pipe. If you're downloading something that's gonna impact the streaming and also how much you're trying to send up the pipe that's going to lead to all kinds of issues so I'm, I've got my stream open in a window on one of my screens and it seems to be okay so far I've also upped the um, the amount of data allowed for the audio 
to the maximum, so I'm really hoping that the audio is pretty good for you guys. Uh, you told me last time in your feedback that the audio was, was good for you. So I've kind of got the mic the same distance away from, from where I am as last time. Uh, you did mention it's a little bit echoey. I think we're just going to need to live with that. I'm not going to go to the extent of like putting sheets on my walls or something like that. That's just too much. This is my this is my home office as well. It's just I'm not going to start putting sheets on the walls. It's just it's a whole other level. I'm not going to go that far. But as long as you can hear me clearly and the sound quality is good, it seems like the investment in this mic was very much worth it. Which is good because it's pretty it was pretty expensive. But yeah, we seem to have everything we need now. Um, I don't think I'm going to be adding webcam. I mean, if you were to look at me like now, I'm not particularly presentable, and I plan to kind of stay that way. And I'm kind of divided on that. I did try previously adding webcam to videos, and it, I found it really distracting, to be honest. I ended up thinking too much about what I look like. It just adds a whole other dimension. Uh, it's nice for me to be able to just concentrate on the game as well. Hey Morgan, how are you? Oh Jeff, thanks for the feedback mate. You say it is nice and clear. That is good. Well, also let me know if you guys see a card. I'll, um, he gave me an option with a card to add a poll. And I wanted to it seems like it's not showing anyway. I want to do a poll to um, to see which game you want me to play next. And it looks like the poll isn't working, so I'll just ask you. So, um, one option is obviously more long dark. Another option is a game called Niche. It's like a genetics survival game, which has been trending on Steam. I've also oh shit, what have I got? Uh, Darkwood. I could play more Darkwood. And there's another that will come back to me in a minute. So. But yeah. Oh, Flame in the Flood. That's it. If you want to see me play some Flame in the Flood. I got that cheap in, uh, in a sale recently. Accurize plays that, played that a while ago. I really enjoyed his videos on Flame in the Flood. He gets mixed reviews on Steam though, so I'm a little bit hesitant about it. And I think maybe I tried it before, but I got slapped down for copyright. So, because Flame in the Flood has some of the best music. I might, I might be getting confused with another video, but... Yeah, it has fantastic music. But copyright on YouTube is a bitch. So... Yeah. I guess you guys, tell me what time it is for you too, because for me, I'm in, I'm in the future, basically. So I'm in Melbourne, Australia, which means it is my Sunday afternoon. And it's, it's just a constant trip. So for you guys, if you I, I see most of you are in the States, it's still going to be your Saturday, which just constantly messes with my mind. I haven't searched this yet. Uh, nothing. Should get a nice cutscene here, so I'll shut up. Hey. Old guy. Old guy. Hey. Hey, you still with me? Shit. I'm too late. <laughs> Call me 
Jeremiah. I went to the dam. Found some supplies that should help. Oh, thanks. Because my insides hurt like hell. <sighs> what did you find? General meds. Painkillers, antibiotics, and what looks to be some old vials of morphine. <laughs> Take the morphine. Easy. Hopefully your pain won't get that bad. You alone out here? <sighs> What's it to you? What the hell are you doing out here anyway? Hey, don't get excited. I'm just looking for someone. The only thing you should be looking for is a way to kill that bear. Bear? Yeah. He'll be back soon enough. And when he is, I'll be ready. <coughs> Shit. Ready for what? You can barely sit up. Uh, that bear is a man killer. If we don't finish him off, no telling what savage fury he'll unleash. We? I, I'm just on my way through the area. That bear's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Listen, stranger. You aren't going anywhere. Like it or not, you and me oh, we have, have some a in common. That's a shame. Neither of us is going to survive. Unless we kill that damn bear. Okay. I'm just reading your comments, by the way. 2.36 a.m. in Trumpistan. <laughs> that took me a second to get that. I thought that was pretty good. And 7.37 in England. Uh, so, what should we do? Bear? We know about the bear. It's the grumpy old bear. It's the same as the... Uh, Challenges, isn't it? The story's real simple. That bear and me, unfinished business. Okay. How's your pain? Hurts like hell. Why would you not take the morphine? Morphine? Nah, that stuff's dangerous, especially the old stuff. Addictive makes you feel like you're floating in a dream. Is that a bad thing? But the area around us, we know this so well. Campground, already been there. Abandoned. Okay, I think we're just gonna get on with this. Done. Did you see those lights in the sky a few nights ago? Yeah. I saw them. We see the northern lights this far up, but I've never seen anything quite like that. I'm a bush pilot. Those lights took my plane down. I nearly died in the crash. Now I need to find my... I had a passenger with me. Dead? I sure hope not. We were on our way to Perseverance Mills. You know it? Shit, nothing town. A few hours north. Sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. You're the first person I've seen in months. I haven't seen your friend. The phone lines are down. Nothing electrical seems to be working. You think it has something to do with the flash of light? Uh, could be. Wildlife's been acting weird, too. The wolves, mostly. Hanging around more than usual. Like they're waiting. Waiting? For what? I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about it. Look, maybe we can help each other. I don't know. I need to get out there and look for my friend. Well, I have an idea that might help you find who you're looking for. But with that bear out there and me laid up in here, well, you're as good as dead. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you have in mind? Well. With that bear on the prowl, you'll never survive long enough to find your friend. And I can't do shit from in here. 
but I can guide you. You do what I say, and I'll keep you alive. And what's in it for you? Uh, we'll talk about that. But first, you need some protection. Give me the gun. Yes. And my rifle. I was just going to say I was hoping we could get our hands on that. Ah, oh, shit. What I was afraid of. That shot you took hurt the rifle more than the bear. My rifle's done. Shit. What? Sorry. You have a backup? No. No backup. But I know where you might be able to fix it. Great. Where? It sounds like Snake from Metal Gear Solid 3. But a day's travel south. Along the tracks. There's a machine shop there. I used to trade for time on the tools to keep my gear in order. Bush pilot like you should be able to handle them. I'll see what I can do. Listen. Stay along the tracks. Keep your eyes open for the old bear. If you see him, hide and pray he doesn't hide. Pick up set. Don't get cocky. Or we'll both end up dead. Got it. Good luck, pilot. Maybe we'll make a survivor out of you yet. Nice. Okay, so we have a gun. Let's just see how. We have this, by the way. Alright, let's, let's take a look. How bad is this gun? Is it just ruined? Oh, we don't have it. Okay. So we gotta go get it. So the one he was just talking about has mysteriously <laughs> vanished. Alright, let's see what we're supposed to do. Find the railway maintenance yard and get into the repair shed. We're talking about the next region, aren't we? Just correct me if I'm wrong before I set off <laughs> in the wrong place. I actually missed the region he was talking about. Railway maintenance yard, getting into the repair shed. Is that the new region? The brand new one? I'm not quite sure. I'm kind of expecting this bear to make an appearance pretty soon. Okay, so we have a decent amount of daylight left. Let's just check, there's no sign of this bear anywhere, but he's gonna turn up soon enough. Let me know where we're supposed to go, because <laughs> I I'm not actually that familiar with all the changes yet. So I know that Mystery Lake has changed a lot. I've seen some of those changes. So I've been up to the dam. Go to the musk egg. Nice, thank you. Okay, cool. That's what I was thinking. Ah, okay. And the way to the new region is at the end of musk egg. Nice. Because the other place I was thinking it might be is, you know, you have the waterfall and then you've got the, uh, the indoor cave entrance. I thought it might be there, but okay, it makes sense that it's right at the other end of the the tracks. Cool. So we're heading to Muskeg. Lucy, hi. Love your channel. Thank you very much. I love all these compliments. These compliments. <laughs> I'd love to say it doesn't matter, but it does. I actually really appreciate your feedback. Any idea when chapter 3 is coming out? I have no idea. Does anyone else know? I haven't even heard any rumours, but I've not been following it either. I know that Hinterland are pretty um, careful about giving any kind of timelines now. So they've kind of shot themselves in the foot quite a few times in the past. Because they would say that the story mode was coming out and then they'd delay it and then people got pissed off. And, and they learned that it's better not to say when it's coming out at all. And then kind of only announce it closer to the, the date or when they're really sure that they can do it. So we're going to head down here because that wolf is walking off to the left. It's going to say yeah. Nah. 
I reckon they will have made a decent amount of money from this release. Remember this is on Xbox and PlayStation and PC now. And this game is extremely well re reviewed and it deserves it. So I think Hinterland are probably not short of cash. So I think my personal guess is that they should they should be hiring some they'll have enough people. I doubt they'll be adding too much to Sandbox. They might be, you never know, but Sandbox was always supposed to support story mode and uh, Raf who founded Hinterland always said that story mode was the eventual focus so I think I think it won't be too much longer but I mean look at me I'm still playing this I mean admittedly I was away traveling the states for a month and I've been manically busy since I got back so I'm only just now getting around to it but I know there'll be people who smash this entire story mode in a single weekend but yeah Morgan Williams says the new region map is kind of backwards by that I mean the place where you come out the tunnel is from the right not the left line What do you mean? Yeah, that's true too. Hinterland was a very, very small company. Still basically an indie developer. And I mean, they got started uh, just using Kickstarter money. And I've watched, I've gone back and I think you can still see the, um, the Kickstarter videos where Raf talks about starting uh, The Long Dark and his hopes for the game. and. Those videos are still around. Okay, here we are, we're in Muskeg. I've died so many times in this place. Just checking our stats. Okay, we're pretty tired. The sun, in terms of daylight, we're okay. I'm just gonna get a quick drink. It is mental that it has got that far. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eat this meat. I know we don't really need it, but I'm gonna I'm always conscious of weight, so I'm going to get our weight down. Get some calories in our belly. You can argue we don't need to do that, and it's true. You can starve your way through the daytime, and if you're on Interloper, that's exactly how you have to play the game. But we're not on Interloper. I think Interland have done very, very well. Very, very well. Um, I'm almost proud of them because so many companies just go for the cash grab or they try and do it quick or and they just fuck it up and Raf kept on saying one thing we've got one chance to release this game so we're not going to rush it we're not going to screw it up and he got it absolutely right even though everyone was impatient and people were frustrated and they were taking some shit for it he stuck to his guns didn't release it before he was absolutely sure it was ready and yeah I think that's just a smart way to oh, fuck I thought I heard something that's where I'm getting nervous I'm just going to turn the sound off on my headphones by the way if we do suddenly get charged by a bear and I scream like a girl, then <laughs> so be it. I was playing this uh, earlier and I got uh, I got a good scare. I got jumped by a wolf. Yeah, I think Interland. I think the development of this game really shows how it can and should be done. Um, especially, hang on, let me just think about these walls here. It's got two on the left, one is going left towards us, one is going right towards us. They're still a way off. The other good thing about eating that meat we just ate is that it will reduce any kind of smell. We're not short of food or anything, so I'm gonna, 
I'm not going to go for any cattails. I'm just going to play it safe. This is my my uh, survival mode training kicking in. And I'm really just wondering when that bear is going to make an appearance. No, the, bull, the wolves and bears don't fight. The wolves will always run from the bears. Okay, I think we... I think we're probably good to run. Yeah. I was being overly cautious. So in terms of time, I can see we're up to like 23 minutes-ish in terms of videos, so I'm streaming this, but the good thing as well is that um, YouTube's going to record this for me automatically, which is going to make managing this channel so much easier. So my thinking is I'll stream for between 20 and 30 minutes, and then I'll cut, well, I'll stop. I'll take a, a quick break and I'll go, you know, do my thing, get a drink and whatever. So I'll take a short break, but I won't be long. And then that cuts the video nicely for the people who want to watch after the fact on the channel. And, and then I'll start streaming again, so... I'll just put this away. So... And again, just bear with me. I've never really streamed before. So I'm still learning. Let's take that and drop that. I only need the flare shell. Okay. So we're all good. We're pretty tired. I think I might just have coffee. Keep our energy up. Thanks for streaming. Thanks for thanking me for streaming. <laughs> I would have done it a long time ago if Australia was in the 21st century. <laughs> but um, yeah, the first place I lived in this country was, I mean, it was like having dial up connection. It was just stupid. And, um, and then we moved to this house and it, it wasn't much better. So, and like I said before, we have literally, literally just been connected to, to broadband. And ah, there's a wolf up ahead. And they called me up, my, my internet provider called me up to say, you have broadband, do you want to get connected? And I was like, yep, 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 do it now. How do I do it? Make it happen. So I um, did a verbal contract on the phone then and there. And uh, yeah. We actually had our connection sorted by the time the MBN network sent the letter to our hills telling us that we had the network. I already had it. So, <laughs> couldn't have come soon enough. But yeah, it means I can do much more on the channel. Much more. And it seems like the stream is stable. Um, has anyone had any buffering issues? I did see a buffer once, but apart from that, it seems to be pretty good. Just let me know. Anyone having any kind of problems at all? Or is it is it clear? Is the audio clear? Is the frame rate decent? Let's see if we can shoot this guy. Buttery smooth, that is the best thing you could possibly have said. Ah, oh, missed, gutted. It's really hard to aim with this thing. The flare gun used to shoot slightly above the target, and now it looks like it shoots below the target. So it looks like the recent update has actually changed. No, 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 no. I wasn't trying to live in the States. I went to visit the States. I did a big road trip. So, uh, I hired a car. I basically did a road trip for a month. And I was in Colorado for about two weeks of that. Because I basically knew that I'd like Colorado the best. 
and I was absolutely right about that. I love Colorado, and I'll be back there. Um, I'm also interested in what they're doing out there because obviously they have legalized marijuana and Victoria was the first state to legalize medical marijuana and it's just a question of time until they do it here let's see if we can shoot this guy ah oh, god damn it so it shoots really low reload reload okay Okay, so Morgan, you say you've had a few buffer issues. Can you uh, tell me what kind of buffer issues? I mean, is it like intermittent or was it just once or twice? Is it regular? Because the other thing, there's two sides to the buffering thing. Part of it is what I'm putting up. And then part of it is your connection to YouTube. So there are two sides. So it really depends. Like if some of you are watching this and there are no buffering issues at all, that means the stream is stable. And if some of you are watching this and you are having buffering issues, then that might be your connection. I think. I think I'm right. Correct me if I'm wrong. I may have to waste a third flare on this dude. But it's pretty good target practice. Oh shit. Missed him again. I'm not doing well. Right. Let's not waste any more flares on that. It keeps on running ahead of us, that's the problem. some kind of glitch, I can't put my flare gun away and I can't reload. Let's do it this way. Okay. Alright, we're coming up to half an hour, so give it another couple of minutes and I'll take a break. No buffering problems. Nice, nice, nice. Flagstaff. Is that Arizona? Easy. If that's the case, then I'll probably stick with these settings. I'm looking at the stream myself and it looks like the, uh, the frame rate's quite decent. Certainly good enough. And the game audio is okay for you guys too. Some people have stable connections then I reckon we because I want to try to stream in as good a quality as I can because bear in mind that I'm also recording this for, for the channel too so I want to audio is good nice 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 so I'm recording this I'm trying to stream it in 30 frames a second and hopefully it records in that too so yeah, all right. Let's um, let's get to the end of this region, and then I'll take a little break, and then I'll be back in just five minutes or something, and we'll carry on. Absolutely no sign of the bear yet at all. So yeah, thanks for sticking around with the channel, by the way. I have been very conscious of the fact that I have not been putting much up on here for a little while. Life just kind of got in the way. But now I'm back and things have kind of settled again. And now we're able to do this streaming, I'm going to be doing a lot more of this kind of thing. It's just so much easier for me. I mean, I literally, because I had the settings done already, I just opened XSplit Broadcaster, I opened the YouTube, I opened the game. I hit a button and that's it. Whereas before I used to record audio and gameplay separately, then I would clean up the audio 
I would take both of those files and then I would send them over my local network to my other computer in the living room and I would use that computer in the living room to splice those files back together and then once that was done, so that would take hours to process and then once that was done processing I'd have to leave it uploading overnight because the connection was that slow Yeah, true. Absolutely agree with you, Morgan. True fans will stick no matter. YouTube isn't super important. I agree. We're just playing games. And I always wanted to keep YouTube as a hobby for me because that would mean that it would I would actually keep on doing it. If it becomes like a burden, then I'll probably not do it so much. And yes, Colorado is fantastic. It really is. Boulder and Denver, I will be back there again. And I went hiking there too, and I love hiking. All right, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm just gonna pause it here. Stick around if you wanna see me streaming again. I'll be back on in about five minutes. Ciao for now.